everyone, I'm Raz with the Raz Play, and today we're going to show you how to make a potion crafting room here in Terraria for all platform. But before we get there, as always, make sure you hit subscribe on the channel right now. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. We can't do it without your help. Secondly, make sure you hit the bell notification so you know when I go live or drop a new video. Third, make sure you drop a like and comment down below because that's what nice people do. And finally, check out the description down below for a lot of cool links. Now, let's show you how to set up a nice little crafting area for your potion making. All right, so here we are just kind of hanging out in my little potion crafting room. And as you can see, I have a bottle placed on a table here, a couple chests, and a couple friends hanging out with me, including the barkeep. Go figure. Anyway, so today what we're going to show you how to do is how to make potions, how to set up an area, how to get all your chests set up and all that. So that way, if you want to make, oh, I don't know, like a spelunky lunk potion, a regen potion, anything you want, you can make it. So we're going to show you how to set up the room so you can either A, use a bottle as a crafting station, or B, the upgraded alchemy station. Got that? Good. Now, let's start off with showing you how I got everything set up. All right, so what you see here is basically the most rudimentary, simple setup that you could possibly have, and I really need to upgrade this. So what you're going to need for the most basic crafting station for potions is a flat surface, like a table or a piano or many other things. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, a place bottle and a couple chests. Now, the chests I have laying out here, the way I set it up is I have all my ingredients for potions right here. Now, some of these might not be ingredients or potions. Oops, let's get that out of there. So I have all my ingredients there. So when I walk over here, I'm next to the bottle. There you go. I can craft a bunch of potions. Do not forget... You need bottled water. Don't forget that. You wouldn't believe how many times I've forgotten. That's getting ahead of ourselves. Though. And then over here, I've got a bunch of potions that I've made or found. Put it right next to that. And that way you get a nice little simple area. So to set this up, the first thing you're going to need is a place bottle. How do you do that? Well, it's simple. You come over to a furnace and you have yourself a bunch of sand. Got it? Good. So we go into the crafting here. Click right there, glass. As you can see, you need two sand block, and it will craft glass, but you have to be at a furnace. Got that? So we're going to go one, two. There we go. We've got some glass. Now, secondly, while at the furnace, go back to your crafting window. You've got your glass right there. So what we're going to do, click on that right there. You get two bottles per one glass. One, two, three, four. There you go. Now we've got a bunch of bottles. Sound good? Good. Moving on. All right, so we've got our bottle, we're ready to set it down, and we're ready to set up our crafting area. But the question is, how do you set this up? How do you set up your own crafting area, your crafting station for your potions? Allow me to read from the wiki. From the bottle crafting station page, the place bottle functions as a crafting station for potions. Any of the following will function as this crafting station as long as they are placed on a flat item of furniture. Any platform, table, dresser, workbench, bookcase, piano, fireplace, or tinker's workshop will work. So what we can do here, we're going to walk around. So first we're going to take a bottle and we're going to put it on the table that I use myself. There you go right there. Pop that open and you can make some potions right there. Got it? Good. Next up, we're going to take that right there. They're gone now. Then we're going to take this right here. We're going to put it on platform. And there you go. If you get close enough, there you go. Splunker, invisibility. Beautiful. Got it. Good. Then we're going to try and put it on Tinker's Workshop. They said it was going to work, and it does. And finally, let's look at the piano because they said piano would work. Yes, and maybe bookcase. And fly close. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so all these flat surfaces here, don't overthink it. I'm sure there's more, but all these flat surfaces, pick one, and one of them will work. Will it actually work on the furnace? And no, not the furnace, though. So there you go. There is your flat surfaces. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your bottle. You're going to place it down. And there you No, 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 like that. There there you go. And you will have your own crafting area, and all you need is the bottle. Now, let's show you how to craft all right, so the next part of this tutorial is very, very, very important. And this is one, believe it or not, I forget more often than not as I'm trying to set everything up and get everything ready to go. And I go to make a potion and I can't. And I'm like, but I've got my gold ore. I've got my moon glow. Why can't I make a spelunky lunk? I also have a blink root. And the answer is that right there, the bottle water. I am terrible for remembering to get bottled water. So if you're making potions, you need bottled water. And here is how to do it. So you'll notice over here, I'm standing there hanging out. I've got some empty bottles in my inventory. Beautiful. We'll click over here. And I cannot make a single bottle of water. But if you go down here and you stand on water or alternatively, see right there, you stand in water. And if, as long as you've got the bottles in your inventory and you got the bottled water right there, ready? And... There you go. Nice, simple, and easy. Now you've got more bottled water. So what you're going to want to do is make a bunch of bottles. Come down to any water source. It won't take away water. You're fine. You're not going to drain it. You just stand on top or inside of it. And then you click like that, and there you go. You've got all your bottled water. Got it? Good. Now, let's show you the potion creating process. All right, so real quick and simple, let's show you the process of making a potion real easy, and then we'll move on to the upgraded version. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on this chest there, and you can see all my ingredients. Beautiful, and I've got my bottle of water in there. We go crafting. There we go. And you can pick any one of these. So we're going to pick, let's pick Spelunky Lunk. It's my personal favorite. Click on Spelunker Potion, and you require, as you stand next to the bottle, you need bottled water. 
Blink Root, Moon Glow, and a Gold Orb. Click on it like that. Bam, you've got yourself a lovely Spelunker Potion. Now, that is how to make your basic potion. There is also an upgraded station called the Alchemy Table. Ah, I was reading the wiki, I remembered. So let's show you how to make the Alchemy Table, well, where to get it, how to set it up, and what you can do from there. Sound good? Good. All right, so you've now made your crafting area. You've got your bottle, you got your water, you got the things, you got the stuff, you got everything you need, you're good to go, but you keep using all of your ingredients every time, and you don't want that. You want the chance to not consume an item, preferably a one in three chance. Well, have I got a crafting station for you? That would be right here, the alchemy station. So what you're gonna do is once you defeat Skeletron, as you can see here, I'm hanging out in the dungeon, came all the way down, and found myself an alchemy station. You grab that, you head back, you place that down, and you've got a one in three chance of not using ingredients every time you make a potion now. Great, awesome, amazing. So we'll grab that, and then I said we'll grab that, and then we'll go. Now, the reason why I have this right here, the bewitching table, the reason why I have this here, all right, we're gonna place this down again, it's because I have a terrible memory. So every time I come down here, you can either get the bewitching table or the alchemy table. This is for extra summonses for your minions if you're a summoner. This is for potions. So what I do every time when I come down here and I'm like, I need more summonses and I grab an alchemy table or I go, I need to make potions and I grab a bewitching table so I always get it backwards. So this one over here is your alchemy station. This one is not. Got it? Good. Now give me that. Give me that and I'll meet you back on the surface. All right, here we are back in our crafting area for our potions, and as you can see right there, when you pop this chest open here, go right there, there you go, you can make all your potions, but if we get rid of these here, and we take our alchemy table, not the witching table, our alchemy table, you put that down, there you go, amazing, now we go right click there, open there, and there you go, you can once again make all your potions, but you now have a 1 in 3 chance of not consuming an ingredient, every time you make a potion. Isn't that amazing? I think it is. I'm gonna start using these from now on because I forget to. So there you go, that is how to make a potion. Now, give me one second, we'll wrap this up. All right, so to wrap things up, to make yourself potions, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need sand to make bottles. Make sure you have a couple water bottles kicking around right there, your bottled water, you got all your ingredients, and you're gonna need either a place bottle right there or on any flat furniture surface, and it'll let you know if it works or not, or grab yourself an alchemy table. Then get yourself a couple of chests, one right there just for your potions that you already made, and one for your ingredients. You click over here, there you go. Let's make a Titan potion, boom, we're done. Place it over there, and there you go. That's how to set up a little potion crafting area here in Terraria for all platforms, for all times, for forever. You got that good. Now, anyway, if I helped you guys out, as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. Hit that bell notification, all that other fun stuff. I hope this was fun. I hope it was exciting, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Ciao.